Now, we're joined now from College Green by the Respect MP George Galloway, who doesn't want PMQs to be cancelled on Wednesday. George Galloway, why not? Well, you've managed to assemble the only three people uh, in one room uh, in the entire country that think it's all right that we're spending £10 million on the canonisation of this wicked woman, this woman who laid waste to industrial Britain, to the north, to Scotland, to South Wales. We've already had the recall of Parliament last week with MPs being paid up to £3,700 to fly back from the Caribbean holiday that they were on and then fly back to start their holiday again for a totally unnecessary fawning over this woman. Well, George and now Galloway... they want to cancel Prime Minister's questions. It's absurd. Right, George Galloway, I mean, she was Prime Minister for 11 and a half years. She well, won three... Mr. Well, hang on a second. She won three general elections. Surely she is a big enough political figure, whether you like her or not, to merit such a ceremony. Mr Wilson won four general elections. Mr Attlee totally transformed the country in the wake of the Second World War. Neither of those had anything remotely like this, this tidal wave of guff that the country's been forced to listen to, particularly on the BBC. And when they bought Ding Dong, the witch is dead, you censored it as the only means they had of expressing their own rejection uh, of all of this. The comparison of Margaret Thatcher with Mr Churchill is utterly absurd. We'd be conducting this conversation in German if it was not for Mr Churchill. He saved the very existence of this country. While Mrs Thatcher did her best to destroy what was good about this country and did destroy more than a third of our manufacturing capacity, reducing us to the state we're in now. All right, People are very angry in Britain and it's not reflected in your studio and it's not reflected on the BBC. Right, but George... George Galloway, you're reflecting it very clearly and it's loudly. The first time from time you've had me on in one college... week. She what? died one week ago. Hundreds of thousands right. of people have been following me on social media, but I never got one invitation okay. to speak on the BBC. I think you're fine. This is, the fir this is the first programme back after the Easter break, and you're on it, George Galloway. So can I just say to you, those sentiments that you have expressed... All that is being asked is, is there a different time to express those sentiments? On the week that her funeral is taking place, isn't this a time to rise above, to rise above that sort of debate and save it just for another time? But that's what people said last Monday. Now it's this Monday. How long have we got to observe this fake uh, silence uh, on the record of a woman who caused such destruction in this country? Wreckage. Ming Campbell's a Scottish MP. The Tories were reduced to zero, no MPs in Scotland. Their brand is utterly poisonous in large parts of the North. Well, Amin Campbell has said he disagreed with those me. policies. They lost their deposit against me in the by-election just a few weeks ago. Is there ago. a difference, George Galloway, because actually both Tessa Jowell and Min Campbell have stated very clearly that they disagreed with her policies. Tessa Jowell went on marches during two of those elections against her policies. Is this a difference between the way you express your outrage um, and disgust, whether it is done in a more polite way just for this week, or whether, or whether you do it in... I'm just asking you, or whether you do it in the way that you've expressed it. Was Mrs Thatcher polite about the minors? when she destroyed their communities, leaving them social slag heaps of needles and crime and vice and idleness? Was she polite to the steel workers when she destroyed them, to the print workers when she destroyed them? She laid waste to this country. What are you talking? Spare me this sanctimony about politeness, please. There are millions of people in this country hate the very word Thatcher and Thatcherism, which continues All until right. this day. George Galloway. I think we did try to get hold of you, actually, for a programme earlier, but we weren't able to. But thank you for appearing on the programme today.